Okay, boys and girls, so today we're going to be doing a step-by-step -step cave art drawing. So we've already had our story about cave art and learned a little bit about its history and how old it is. So there are many animals that are featured in cave art, animals such as horses and um, lions, cave lions as a matter of fact, cave bears, mammoths, and um, woolly rhinoceroses. Now it's important to keep in mind when we're drawing today that all of the animals that people who made cave art uh, uh, painted are now extinct. They don't exist anymore. They existed tens of thousands of years ago. So they have since passed away. So in a way we are um, doing the same thing that the cave artists did in representing animals that are now extinct. Extinct means they don't exist anymore. So we're gonna do three animals. We're going to do a horse, a woolly, rhin woolly rhinoceros on this paper, and um, a bonus mystery animal. Some of you might know what I'm referring to. Um, I'll give you a hint. The animal is not real, or the animal is magic. So um, we're gonna do each one step by step so you're just gonna follow along with me we're gonna start up here in this corner and we're gonna begin with a curvy line draw that line next step we're gonna continue this curvy line we're gonna make a little line right here and we're gonna go sort of like an L up, but then curve. And you might be able to gather what this animal is now. If you guessed horse, nice job. Uh, let me plug that in. It'll be even louder. Ah, much louder. There we go. Okay, next step. Going back up to the top of the horse's head, we're going to make a pointy ear. That shouldn't have taken quite that long, so we're also going to make the horse's eye. I like to make just sort of like a mark that's sort of like a triangle. It's like the, the horse looks like he's looking down. And then the nostril. So rapid fire here, we're gonna to try to finish all of these in one class sitting. So that's the face of the horse. Now up here, behind the, make sure you're paying attention boys and girls and you're not talking between steps because you might miss the steps. You don't wanna miss the steps. Okay, so back here, shh, quiet. Those booers are kinda of rude, aren't they? We're gonna make the mane. I just like to kind of do a big sort of scribbly, but not messy scribbly, neat scribbly line like this. And then the next step is go ahead and make the bottom part of the neck. Now, I like to also kind of shade this nice and darkly, but then let it fade out just like we did up here. So that's our horse. This horse is based on the um, panel of the horses from the Shavi cave. Okay, next step. So we're gonna move down over to this area here and we're gonna do our rhinoceros. So we're gonna start in this area here and we're going to draw the front of the rhino's head and there's this big horn, make it curve all the way back and all the way forward. And here's his nose. So this is his forehead here. This is his small horn. This is his large horn. And this is his nose. Take your time drawing that line. It's a little bit tricky. It's probably one of the trickiest lines that we're gonna draw today. Good job. Okay, so now up here, we're gonna draw the rhinoceros's 
back. And we're just gonna let it go right off the paper. So just make a curvy back right off the paper. We're not gonna draw the entire rhino just like we didn't draw the entire horse. Okay, now next step. We're gonna make the rhino's mouth and his chin. Kind of goes up. This is his whole jawline. Whoopsie do. Remember, if you make a mistake, erase it and fix it. We're gonna be coloring over this next art class, um, and these lines are gonna get covered with black crayon, so we might not see our mistakes so much. So. No reason to stress, nothing to worry about here. Just do your best, that's all. That's all I ever ask. Okay, now, next step, we're gonna do his eye. And his nostril, he's got a little nostril right here. Make a little mark. Okay, and I forgot to press the bell there. But next step, we're going to do his front leg. So his front leg just kind of swoops down like this. He's also looking down like our horse is. And then this is the back of his leg. So this up in here is actually the rhino's shoulder. This is his neck and shoulder. And then his belly, this rhino's been eating too many caveman cheeseburgers because he's got a big belly that just droops all the way down. Okay, so draw that leg belly. You can put a little line right there while you're waiting for the next step if you have time. Okay, so last step on our woolly rhinoceros is here is to do his, now look how I'm holding his pencil, do his fur. I'm making that same line as I did up here, but instead I'm holding my pencil at an angle. So the woolly rhinos kind of had just this big tufts of fur on their back hanging down to keep their sides warm. Because that's where they would lose the most body heat when it got cold out, was their middle of their body where their belly and chest was. You can also use your pencil like, go ahead and draw that, like this to do some shading. Shading is always nice. So maybe our horse here has some nice shadows going across the bottom of his neck. Maybe even some across the bottom of his nose and chin, maybe up here a little bit. And what's nice about this shading is that when we go to color, the graphite that we use to shade will also mix with our color. And it'll make a shadow of the color, a shade of the color. Okay, one more creature. This one is our magical creature. So we're gonna go over here to this side of our paper and we're just gonna make a sweep, just a sweep. Remember, if you can't fit it, skip it. If you're running out of room, skip it. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this sort of curvy line coming down and around. So we've got a sweep. And we've got this curvy line. You'll see what this is going to be in just a moment. Okay, now coming back up to here, we're going to go down, just kind of like what we did here for the rhino. Just make a sweep, sweepy curve, and then another curve behind it. So that's going to be a leg. So, hmm, this is another kind of animal. Mm-hmm, mm hmm And... After you draw that, back here behind the leg, there's his belly. 
Hmm, what is this animal? What do you think it is? I bet you some of you might be able to figure it out. Okay, now, coming back up here, we're going to draw a line like this. And then a line like this. So there's his nose and mouth. You can shade the top of his nose in. And you can even make a little nostril there. Kind of looks like a cow to me. What do you think? Alrighty. And then we're going to do the eye. Kind of like a person's eye almost, isn't it? Hmm. Bet you some of you know what this is. And then the last thing, we're going to make a horn. Maybe him and the rhino are having a fight. Maybe they're fighting. So this is the wizard beast of the Lasco cave. It's called the wizard beast, or sometimes it's called the beast of the shamans. Shamans were people who were kind of like priests and they would dress up like animals and do dances and chant and all sorts of things. And the scientists think that the ancient peoples believed that when they dressed up as the animals, it would make the animals more likely to be present when they would go on their hunts. So it was kind of like magic. All right, so that's our drawing. So I hope you enjoy drawing that step by step. Um, if there's any time left in class, if you want to add more animals, if you have space, you can. You could add another rhino or another wizard beast or some more horses. For instance, I could even draw another horse back here. Maybe this is the daddy horse and this is the mommy horse or it could be the daughter horse, the son horse, who knows? Use your imagination. You know, like SpongeBob says, and fill in. You could even draw some little hunters. So maybe something like that. Use your imagination. Do a little bit of shading as well. All right, that's it. Bye-bye.